this project started, I actually approached the school and um, I was looking to do a, a creative project to make some learning resources. Um, and we had lots of different options, so we could work with like professional companies or do them in-house ourselves. Um, but we wanted to find a partner to come and work with us who would bring creativity and new ideas, but who would also kind of benefit from being involved and, um, and having that opportunity. Um, I went to the kind of local education authority and I said, you know, we're looking to work with um, some students potentially on a project. Um, and they said, oh, well, we've got this fantastic new course, this Creative Media Diploma, and I hadn't heard of it at the time. Um, and they pointed me in the direction of a teacher called Mark Curtis, who works at Backwell School. And I went along and met him, and I said, we've got a bit of funding to do this project, you know, we need really professional outcomes. Um, do you think this is the kind of thing that the students could get involved with? And he was like, absolutely, like, this is absolutely the kind of thing we want to get involved with. And he was great, you know, he was really flexible about the timetables. And um, I remember when I first met the students, they came up to Tinsfield and everyone was a little bit nervous and I was quite nervous. Um, but it was just so much fun. And they got, you know, they, they were spotting things and coming up with ideas that we never would have come up with. Um, and I remember seeing the first lot of films that they did back in like, 2009 and being completely blown away, kind of not only with the quality of what they'd done, but just the different angles that they came at the projects to. You know, some of them were just really genuinely very funny um, and others were really quite poignant. So it was really nice to see a property that I knew really well at that point from a completely different angle. How much did I expect from the students? Um, I think probably when I started, um, I expected that they'd need a lot of support, sort of that they'd need a lot of help with all the technical equipment, that they'd um, maybe be quite unsure or nervous in this environment because working in a big historic house and various things is quite new and it has lots of rules and restrictions. Um, but overall I found that, you know, practically all the students know far more about all the technical equipment than I do um, and they pick up everything so quickly. I remember in the first year project, um, one of the students decided they wanted to do something using Flash and he taught himself how to use the programme on YouTube overnight and came back in the next day and was like doing all this fantastic stuff. Um, and everyone, I think there were some nerves with all of the groups we've worked with when they first come on site, just a bit of uncertainty about what they're getting themselves into. Um, I think I get a lot more ambitious every year. I think when we first started, um, the first year project was actually fairly ambitious in terms of what we wanted them to achieve but obviously each year I see the results and the things that the students are capable of doing and so each year that allows us to push things a bit further or um, to kind of um, think even bigger about what they can achieve because I know they can deliver the quality. So um, you know and each, each group has students with different talents so there's a real mixture of things you can achieve um, and I think also I've probably learnt to let go a lot more and, um, and trust that if I give someone an overall brief they'll come back with incredible creative ideas and brilliant projects and you don't need to kind of oversee every single detail because you know that at the end you'll get something that will blow you away. I think we've had, we've now got a fantastic portfolio of short films um, that will go on our new website which will not only showcase um, our partnership with um, Backwell School and the students but also we will support students um, doing construction, um, we've got films that support our oral history projects and, get, and give other young people a chance to get involved. Um, films like the one that's being made at the moment about the orangery will help us um, you know, raise our profile and get projects like this, these kind of partnership projects, hopefully taken up at other National Trust properties. So it really gives us a fantastic platform to show what's happening here at the property um, in a really creative way. Um, well, first of all, I thought the National Trust would just be sort of old men in suits, sat around a table, just talking about old buildings that they thought they need to be restored. I didn't, uh, that I didn't think that they cared this much about sort of the buildings that are around this sort of countryside. Well, first of all, I thought that, um, well, I thought uh, it's an old house. I'm not really that interested in history. So I thought it would just be just a big tour around in a big house. But then when I first came when I first came here, I was like, whoa, this is actually 
really interesting. My first thoughts are now just out the window. I don't think that it's crap or anything that I'm not that interested in history. I'm actually really interested in the building itself and the people who work here. When somebody came to me about three years ago and said I'd be working with 16 to 17 year olds, my first thoughts were, I was a little bit scared but quite excited. Um, I think it's, there's some great opportunities here at Tinsfield and people can learn while they're doing things. I think that's really important. Um, obviously we've got to make sure they're all done safely and um, people get their um, uh, outcomes that they want. But what I've seen in three years is a lot of people getting a lot of um, good experience and some people going on to get really good jobs as well, so I think it's been good. What I expected from the diploma students was actually quite a lot, but so far they've exceeded my expectations. Now that I've seen the work that the students have produced, I'm, I am still really impressed, but I've even, I'm even more impressed because I've seen behind the scenes, so I know how much um, effort and planning and time that they've put into it. How has your project benefited from our work? <gasps> Gosh. Um, I think that oh, I think the Orangey project really benefited because um, the film that the students produce we can take further, so that people who can't come and see um, what we're doing here on site can get to see it by um, a different means, and we can take it to another audience altogether. Um, I expected the National Trust to be kind of for more older people, um, so I kind of imagined them quite old, but there's actually quite a few young people working here, so it's different than I expected. Uh, well, as we worked here a few months ago, I kind of knew what to expect, but uh, this project's been a bit more sort of professional than the other one, I think. So yeah, a little bit different. It's great fun. My role is the project manager and I'm the director of the Orangery Um, I expect persons to be very friendly from the National Trust and I just think they really like what they do, working in places like this. <laughs>